Hey everybody, what's up? This is Chris from T3 Handicapping, and I'm here to go over the all-turf pick three on Sunday, October 24th, 2021. Uh, now, for those of you who are new to these videos, uh, you can find my website, t3handicapping.weebly.com. There you can see all kinds of content related to, uh, to my handicapping um, as well as you can see uh, some of our picks that are available. Uh, you can purchase a, a multitude of different products. Um, you can also find me on YouTube with videos like this um, daily for Indiana Grand and then kind of uh, sporadically throughout the weekend as opportunities present themselves. You can find my page on Facebook, T3 Handicapping, um, or you can find uh, me on Twitter at Handicapping T3. So it's just flipped around that uh, that way there. So lots of different ways to connect. Now, uh, for many of you, this may be your first chance connecting with the product um, and really taking a look at it. And uh, since many of you uh, may have found the found me through the Live and Breathe Horse Racing Group, um, I want to offer you a special discount code um, for uh, for taking a look at the pick. So, um, if you want to purchase anything uh, for Sunday's card, uh, you can go ahead and enter Track Gabe uh, in honor of the the founder of that Facebook group. Um, you can go ahead and enter Track Gabe at checkout, and you'll get two dollars off any handicapping product. If you're only buying a single track, whether that be Gulfstream, Santa Anita, or Keeneland. Those are the three that we have covered for Sunday. Um, if you're buying a single track package, that covers the whole thing. If you're buying something else, uh, one of our other handicapping uh, products for either all tracks or the pick sheet, um, it will cover at least some portion of your purchase. So uh, feel free to use Track Gabe. That's a one-time coupon um, for $2 off any of our uh, picks or handicapping uh, solutions there. So, uh, without further ado, I'd like to jump into the uh, all turf pick three at Keeneland. Um, and what we've seen is that when uh, when the all turf pick three does not go favorite, 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 it pays pretty well. Now we have also seen it go pretty heavy favorites um, back to back, and then it's led to some smaller payouts. So it's a great opportunity to take a stab at things, but it's also not a situation where you want to just be throwing tons of money at the situation because there are times when it only comes out, you know, a hundred bucks. Um, and then you don't want to be too deep so that you're risking a lot to, to win a little. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at what we've got here on tap for this race. Now, uh, this product that you're seeing here, for those that are new to the product, um, this is called the race summary. Uh, at the top of the individual race package, or if you buy the all tracks for the given day, um, at the top, you would have the pick sheet, which would cover everything. It's just what the algorithm spits out in terms of A's, B's, C's. Um, um, and then it also has uh, best bets of the day. Again, that's all algorithm. Um, no individual handicapping goes into that. So what I always like to do is I always like to come into the races on what we call the race summary. And that's what you're seeing on the screen here. And I like to take a little a closer look. Now, keep in mind, this is a $3 wager that we're dealing with. So a little more pricey. It means we're going to have to uh, to keep things a little bit tighter here. Um, so as I look uh, over here, uh, you can see it starts in race five. Um, I've got a class level six. The lower the class level number is, the better the field it is. Um, this is going five and a half furlongs on the surface turf. Um, and you can see that our pace projection is that it's going to be really fast. That's why it's got this little bunny rabbit here. The best run style in these turf sprints so far has been sort of a versatile, either on the lead or just off the lead um, type of runner. They've seemed to have the most success. As I went through and kind of did my initial look at this, you can see that the initial uh, sort of data ran into the sunrise as the top selection, competitive saint as the next, and then inhalation and mark of the Z as sort of my A and B horses. Okay. Um, now, personally, when I went through this and, and based on what I've, I've learned over time with this software, um, I kind of had a slightly different opinion than what I see over here um, for this particular uh, thing. So what I like here, rather than just using the straight grades, is I'm going to do a little bit of uh, personal modification. And this is what I recommend you do as well. This is a handicapping tool. Um, it's not meant to be just a straight up use the picks as they are. You certainly can use them that way. But I think it's always most effective when you use it sort of with your own. So here, as I'm looking, I'm seeing... Um, that the five is definitely a player uh, because he's got the speed, 
uh, close in stamina, jockey trainer, uh, and looks to have maybe a little bit of a pace edge. I definitely think the one with the class, um, with a slight class edge, is is a significant player. Uh, but then I actually like jumping down here to the six with Strike Me Down. I think that one's an interesting player. And uh, I'm kind of interested as well in this quick tempo. Um, so as I'm looking, I'm actually thinking instead of going with just these horses here, um, that I'm actually thinking I'm going to want to use probably the one, five, and six as like my A horses. And then I'm thinking that I might want to have this four quick tempo in as a B. I'm, I'm not so convinced that, uh, that this is going to, um, that this is going to be a, a race where this horse can get out on the lead, but just in case that happens, I've sort of got that set up this way. Now, one of the other products that we do have on our website as well is the ticket constructor, um, that you can purchase, um, and, and use that way. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm just going to pull it up so that we can go in and actually use it. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to come over to my ticket constructor. I'm going to play the pick three. And I'm going to do it for a $3 minimum, which is the all turf. And let's play this one for 50 bucks here. So uh, in this race, I said that I wanted to use the one, the five, and the six as A's. And then I'm going to use the four as just kind of a backup here. Um, I'm just going to use A's and C's because it's a pick three. If I were playing a pick five, I'd be more inclined to, to use things in between. Um, but for today, I'm going to be a little bit more um, rigid about sort of what I choose to use. So um, that's how I'm going to play this one, one, five, and six. I'll use the four on a backup ticket. We'll skip over that race and we'll come to the next race here, which is race number seven. You can see this race actually projects out to be a super slow race. So uh, fast is the rabbit, slow is the turtle, and then we have a deer, which is something in between. This one's going 12 furlongs, class level six. So we've got really talented horses. Um, I'm going to, to actually go with a single here in this spot. Um, the I'm going to go with Lucky Money, who happens to be the favorite. It's a very tepid favorite, um, but it's the one that I like the best. Uh, you can see here that this horse ranks tops in stamina by a significant margin, um, is better in class than some of these based on our numbers, uh, has a good record at the distance, appears to get what will be a good setup in the, in the race flow. Um, now the six will get a very similar setup. It's not going to be that much different, but you start putting this all together. Um, and all of a sudden you're looking at a, a race that really seems to set up for the number five. Now the number six, I think is dangerous as well. Um, but, I'm just probably not going to be able to go that deep um, to use Michelin as well. So I would use the five. Um, I'm going to put the six into a backup spot. That's really kind of at this point, the one that scares me the most. Um, I'll put them into a backup spot just because I can always modify and adjust later if needed. So um, let me just go down here and pull up my... Um, let me pull up my ticket constructor again. So I'm going to use the five as my lone A, and I'll use the six as a C. And then in the final leg here, we're now going to go into leg number nine, or sorry, race number nine. We'll skip over that guy. Uh, so race number nine, we've got a class level eight. So of the group we've been looking at, this will actually be the worst group of horses, um, though this is still a pretty uh, good group. Um, they're going eight furlongs on the turf, and you can see we've got another fast race. Um, now you'll notice that the positive run style has been sort of these mid-pack type horses. Um, and as I'm going through here, one thing I notice right away is the board is really scattered. Now, some of that is because there's 16 horses. My guess is that once scratches and changes come out, um, we'll see this board sort of shift around a little bit because like 14 Miz and Ash, we're seeing, you know, holding race flow and form uh, as the top horse there. Obviously, when that horse comes out, if the 15 comes out, that's going to slide a lot of these horses up the ladder um, and it's going to change the entire complexion of the race. So I'm going into this one with a, a strategy, knowing that I will have to audible at some point based on what the scratches look like. But I actually really like this price here at Point Wild. Um, now, sometimes you'll get oddball horses that get thrown up on the algorithm just because of the way the data 
uh, gets pulled. But if you look, I mean, this horse has run good speed. Um, you've got the horse who rates out the best on our stamina numbers. Obviously, from a class perspective, it looks outmatched. Um, but the horse has run well at the distance before. It could get the best of the race flow, particularly if these two outside runners move out. Um, he's going to move right up the, the ladder here. Um, form. Uh, this looks mostly at sort of how they've been running of late um, between both workouts and um, workouts and races. So it's just looking at form cycle. Um, and so I, I'm not saying I want to be like all in on the A. This suggests that you should just like bet the house on the A uh, on the eight. I would not do that. I would definitely use the eight as uh, one of my A selections. Um, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna have some extra coverage as well. Going through and looking at this, I th I think the one is also interesting. Um, I see the one popping up here in a lot of different categories, and I think that can make it very dangerous. Um, the one I will use here. Um, I'm definitely going to be in on, um, I would definitely have to be in on the 14 as well. And as I'm going through and looking, the other one I think I would want to use would be the two, which would be Dawn's Dancer. Um, now I see that Texas Shuffle comes in as the um, as the leader here, but I think there's going to be a lot of horses trying to go for the lead. I'm just not 100% sure that that's really going to set up. Obviously, um, sets up okay in race flow, um, so could maybe get there um, and does have the class. I don't know. I think that's one that I would want to include maybe as a C-type. This is a race uh, regardless. I'm going to want to go really heavy on anyway. Um, I think for now, I'm actually okay with those numbers. So 8, 1, 14, and 2. And then I'll use the 3 on the C line. So let's go ahead and do that. Leg 3, I'm using 1, 2. Uh, he's going to be 14. Um, and I'm missing one here. Let me just grab that one one more time. Uh, eight. Oh, right. Of course, the the top selection. How could I forget? All right. Um, so I've got this, and you can see using all of my tickets right now, we've got a little bit of a problem. I wanted to get in for fifty bucks, um, and right now all of my wagers, including the all A's with one C, is going to be uh, ninety three dollars, which is just going to be too expensive. I can't. Um, I can't put that much money down on this race, even though I think there's the potential there. So I want to keep all of this here. Um, I think that this is, I, I like overall the ticket structure, but I, I want to get rid of my seahorse in the second leg. And I could just delete them from here, um, but because I want to preserve that opinion, um, it's, it's not as big of a deal here, but in future, uh, if I was doing this like as a pick six, um, knowing that I at least like that horse can be helpful. But I can just go over here to my pick three tab, and I can just say I'm just going to get rid of any one that has the six in the second place, which is this one. That actually turned out to be a $36 ticket right off the bat. Uh, I wanted to get in for 50 bucks. It's $57. Um, that's not that horrible. Um in fact, I, I think I can handle that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play uh, this this way. Um, I should be able to get my money back no matter what. So I'll play an all A ticket for $36. It'll be a $3 ticket, one five six with five with one two eight and 14. Uh, and especially I feel comfortable with that ticket knowing that I there's a pretty good chance I'll lose at least one horse out of that last leg that um, could modify how these picks go in. Uh, and then I'm going to play an all A1C with one, five, six, with five, with three. And then I'll play a CAA ticket, four, with five, with one, two, eight, 14. Um, with that, it'll be $57 until scratches and changes come out. Um, and I think this puts me in a position uh, to be successful. I know I do have a couple shorter prices in there, but particularly in the last leg, I've got some long shots. Um, we'll spend 57, about 60 bucks, um, to try and make, uh, to try and make somewhere in the, you know, 800 plus range. Um, and I think I've got enough combinations there to do it. So um, that's how I would play tomorrow's uh, all turf pick three or today's, depending on when you're watching this. Um, 
and go from there. Now, with my handicapping products, uh, I do update them after scratches. And again, um, if you want to gain access to those, you can hop in here. Um, just go to our website, t3handicapping.weebly.com. And if you, again, enter track Gabe at uh, checkout as the coupon code, um, you will get $2 off. So you can either get... Um, Keeneland, Santa Anita, or Gulfstream for free if you just want to do a single track or if you want to buy our multi-track package or just our tip sheet, um, you certainly can buy those as well. Uh, you'll just have to, to pay a little something, but um, it will cover a, a good chunk of the cost. So um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for watching. Uh, good luck today at the races. If you're somebody who has been uh, purchasing and watching before, thank you for your continued support. And to everyone, uh, good luck, and I hope you cash lots of tickets here on Sunday. Um, we'll be back for Indiana Grand on Monday. Good luck.